Today's video, you do not want to miss. I am talking about what you need to ditch and buy this year, 2020. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kim. I'm a fashion stylist. For those of you who do, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you guys. It is Friday, so it means we are hanging out. I am talking about what you need to ditch this season and what you need to buy. If you are ready to learn those things, give this video a thumbs up before we get started. Okay, when I talk about ditch, I'm like not usually, and those of you guys that watch me all the time know that I'm not that harsh, but I'm talking about like some things in your closet that maybe need to take a little bit of a breather. So there's some trends that have been around a really long time and they're just, they, they need a breather. It's time to like refresh your wardrobe. So item number one, I'm talking about the pastel and colored shoes. It was a little bit of a trend. Anything that's kind of like exploding with like leopard and stars and like an explosion of things, time to give them a little break. I've had leopard runners. I've had pale pink runners. So those are kind of, they were trending a little bit, that nude runner, they're dying. The white runner came in with a vengeance. It is still trending, but for the winter, the trend is black, runners. Actually, Converse are really trending the high top. I mean, they kind of always are. So any type of black runners, the Nike Free was really trendy for a bit. If you watch my video, uh, 34 wardrobes basics you must have, I put those in there. You can see them. Um, black high tops, Converse are always trending. I have a pair of YSL runners that I'm about to show you. I love those. So for the winter, switch out your white kicks for black. The next item in your wardrobe that I'm suggesting that you ditch for 2020, retire, give it a break, at least for the winter, is the kimono. The kimono is a fantastic piece. It's been around for at least, gosh, at least five years I've been wearing them. Um, I think they're really cool. They've got that boho style, colors. I, I have a white lace one that I love. I wear that one on vacation. I'll probably still wear that one on vacation. I think it looks great. However, the replacement that is trending is the trend of the oversized blazer. For So for this winter, big oversized blazer in black, plaid, camel, any of those neutral shades. If you're watching this and it's coming into summer, a white linen blazer oversized is amazing. So take your kimono, replace it with the blazer, and you have instantly upgraded your style for 2020. The next thing you need to ditch, I'm fairly passionate about this one, big clunky jewelry. As you know, we saw the trend come in last year and it's all about like the fine gold jewelry, gold or silver if you like to wear silver, but everything is just being about being a little more delicate, a lot more layered. So that is a trend that you wanna head to this year. So if you're still wearing those like big bib necklaces, try to get rid of those, give them a rest. They're gonna come back, everything always does. And head towards the fine jewelry. I have some that I absolutely love. This is actually from Ana Luisa. Something I love about them is it, it is all recycled gold. And actually, it is made in the same factories, I believe, as Louis Vuitton and Tiffany. The quality has been outstanding. I have worn mine in the shower, in the ocean, and the plating still remains. So just head towards that trend. If you're looking for something, you wanna upgrade your style, head to the fine jewelry section, head online. I'll leave a bunch of links down below of pieces that I love, and you can check those out. They have amazing price points and great craftsmanship. The next trend, you need to ditch out of your closet, mid-rise jeans. Okay, let's talk about mid-rise for a bit. It's very dependent on your body shape, but there is so many different brands out there. I find the mid-rise, regardless of your body shape, just kind of tend to make your butt look wide and spread out because the waistband is kind of right in the middle, usually of your widest part. So if you're an hourglass body type, you're for sure gonna wanna be in the high rise. If you're rectangle, rectangular, high rise is gonna give some more shape to you, tucking in a billowy blouse. So you wanna switch out your mid rise and low rise jeans. I don't know, are any of you guys out there still wearing low rise? That reminds me of like circa 2007, Britney Spears, like Juicy Couture with all of our butt cracks hanging out. Not good. Anyway, we're moving on to the high rise. High rise jeans are where it's at. And there is so many different pairs for your body type. So regardless of your body type, they're going to look 
good on you. You're gonna find a pair that works for you. If you're looking for something more economical, H&M has a fantastic pair of high rise. If you're looking at more of the luxury denim, um, A Goldie is one of my favorites. I'm wearing them right now. I always find that they look fantastic on the butt. Another big ditch, something that I'm just like, I'm done with. I've seen it around a long time and I feel like it's over. And regardless of your body type, you guys can fight me or not. Leave your comments down below. I'm sure this will get lots of attention. Tunics, tunics were, have been around forever. I wore tunics, I wore them with leggings, I wore them with skinny jeans. Tunic being, if you don't know what that means, is those longer shirts that kind of go below your butt. They're hard, like I know everyone likes them because they're loose and you can hide your bum and you can, they're an easy piece to wear, but the trend is to go a little shorter. So all of the pants, the skirts right now are all high rise. So what you want to do is look for those items that are actually cropped to that height of the waist. So again, if you are an apple body type, you can wear a shorter top. You might want to look for a peplum or a top that has an empire waistline. If you're a rectangle body type, you can also have a crop top. When I say crop, I mean like just to the waistline of your pants. Um, if you're younger, you can definitely have a crop top. But uh, so a crop top for a rectangle, you want something that gives you a little more volume up top. If you are an hourglass, you want your crop top or your uh, top to be tight because you want to show off all your best parts, which is your waist. And last but not least, the pairs, you guys own the short tops. This is where you really excel. So you want some like some frills, some of the puff sleeves are really great for you because your bottom is your largest part. So this is where you wanna have a little bit more volume on top to balance you out. If you guys haven't seen my video on how to style your own body type, I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, that I kind of give a bunch of tips and tricks on body types and I try to do that in all my videos, but that one is very good. Bell sleeves, time to give them a rest, they're over. So I did actually two years ago, I was in London for London Fashion Week. I bought the cutest polka dot dress. Um, it had like a, a high neck collar and these bell sleeves. I actually didn't know that notice the bell sleeves when I bought it because I just ran in, grabbed it off the rack and ran it out. And then later I was like, darn. I find bell sleeves annoying because anytime I go to eat, they're like dripping in my food. They're not my thing. I think they're cute. They have some style to them, but like, anyway. They're over 2020, we're moving on. It's all about the puff sleeves. So whether it's like a puff at the shoulder or those ones that just have more volume in the sleeves and they actually are cinched at the wrist, the puff sleeves are in. They're very like circa 1980s, 1990s. Those are coming in, I love those. So some of those puff sleeve sweaters that are actually cropped or hit to the waist of your jeans, those are absolutely fantastic, totally on trend. I highly recommend, go get one. You'll be good for a few years. Last but not least, the tassel earrings. Okay, so maybe some of you are a fan of them. I was never really a fan of the tassel earrings. I just feel like, I mean, I am a minimalist. I love diamond studs, small hoops, big gold hoops I can do too. But um, tassel, not for me. Anyway, it's a trend that is totally done. And I just think if you're looking to refresh, listen, if you love your tassels, you rock your tassels. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't. But if you're looking to upgrade yourself in style for 2020, tassels are out, gold hoops are in. So the gold hoops were around last year. They came out in all sizes, but I love it. Again, a throwback to like the 90s, but small gold hoops, big gold hoops, um, any type of gold hoops, replace the tassels with gold hoops. If you don't have them, get yourself some. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which you loved, what you didn't like, if you have any questions. I don't usually do anything that's like toss and buy, but you know what? Some of them are really true and I wanna actually help you guys. So I need to be that friend that's like, no, we need to get rid of that. So that's what I'm telling you. And I will see you next Friday or on the next video. And I hope to see you next week, next Friday. Tune in every Friday. I'm talking way too long. She'll come back. She went to my neighbors. Just leave her. Okay. <laughs>